What is up, everybody? Welcome to part one of Formula One 2011 Career Mode. Um, I don't know much about this game at all. I'm a noob to uh, Formula One racing. The last Formula One racing I did was on Toka Race Driver Thanks 3. Up your time and welcome, welcome to Formula One. One. Yes. My name's David Croft, and I've been getting lots of tweets from your Hi. fans at home. Tweets? Nice. Want to know a bit more about you. Yeah, what, what's up? So let's start off with your full name. Alright, let's... I guess we'll put in our name here. Um, let's just put in my, uh... My YouTube name. I am Thunder. Yep, American, the United States of America. Now you were rumored to have several contract offers on the table. Can you finally really? confirm who you're going to be driving for this season? Well, AT&T Williams uh, offered me something. Also, Force India F1 team and the HRT F1 team. Maybe you heard of them. Also, the Ma Russia Virgin Racing, uh, but uh, I'm not a virgin, so I'm going to have to turn those guys down. And lastly was Team Lotus. I see you are wearing a blue shirt, so I'm picking at and Williams. Finally, following on from a pretty intensive pre-season test, you must be itching to get your F1 career underway in Melbourne. Well, your expectations heading into your first season? My expe expectations aren't set too high. Honestly, I haven't played this since Token Race Driver 3 on the PlayStation 2, which I'm sure you have one. Uh, right, David. I think you said that was your name. Shout out to your camera guy back there. Yeah, you. Thanks for looking. Um, okay, we're going to take a look at our... Uh, Not too much. I need this. Uh, yeah, I, I need to get up to speed. That's for sure. You know what? I'm gonna pick the most cocky one. Great stuff. I look, I look forward, forward to, to seeing just how you get on in Australia. Australia. So, so good, good luck. All right, we're headed down under then, I guess. Thank you guys, and thank you guys for watching. Uh, Williams welcomes YouTube to team. What was that? I'm scared, guys. Uh, the R trigger, right trigger is the gas. Brake. This ain't NASCAR, this is Formula One. I mean, fast speeds, tight turns, light cars. This could be the best crashing derby video online ever. Pretty scared. Season one, race one. We gotta race already. Can I practice? Okay. I want to turn off all the assists too. I don't care. Uh, I don't need any of that crap. Just kidding. No, I am serious about turning them off though. So here we are. Uh, these babes are walking around. Hey, this is Andy Nye, your race engineer. Welcome to the world of Formula One. I'm sure you're eager to get over the garage, but before we make our way over, I just need to run you through a few things. Alright. The laptop grants you access to a number of systems providing important race and career information. We've already set up your email account, so you should have a few mails waiting for you. Nice. Make sure you check your emails from time to time, as they'll contain important information, such as weather reports, contract offers, and emails from your agent. Alrighty. Next we have the standing screen. Here you'll be able to see how you're performing in the Drivers' and Constructors' Championships. Okay. Then we have the track information screen. Here you can read out all the circuits we'll visit this year. Wow. 
That's you can change your helmet design at any point in the season. season. We've, We've got, got a selection that you can choose from. Really? Awesome. The race calendar allows you to get access to the garage to start the next session or to move to the next race weekend once you've completed a race. You can also view the tracks that you'll be visiting throughout the season. Australia, Turkey, Germany. And finally, if you exit the driver's room, you'll find yourself back at the main menu. Here you can access various game modes and options. Oh, okay. Anyway, I'll leave you to get settled in. Oh, and make sure you take a look at your email. I'll send you the latest weather report. See you in the garage. Okay, we're going to see him in the garage. But let me pick out a helmet. I think I'm looking for a Predator style one. Alright, they're all the same design, it's just different paint scheme. I have to go with that one, that's pretty cool. Alright, and then right over here the TV was, I guess, nothing. Down here is my awesome new surround sound, guys. Uh, to the left, right in the middle, I got some. Um, Formula One, how to drive Formula One for dummy books. Uh, right there are my T1 internet connection lines. Uh, this sofa right here comes out to sleeper sofa. Um, right there I got my, uh, I guess my suit. Um, over there's a shower. Or no, that's not a shower, that's just. That's where I put my trophies. Uh, I just got here so I don't have any. And right there I just won the money in the bank ladder match. So there's my briefcase. Alright. Let's take a look at the laptop. We got five emails. Start with one at the bottom. Glad you're here. Da -da -da. Da -da -da. What? Did you expect to qualify 15th? Oh my god, you guys. Andy Knight, I'm gonna block that game. Alright, let's read this one. Okay. Williams. Alright. Let's see, the first place we will be heading to is Melbourne in Australia. So we're headed down under. I think we're going to see some Aborigines. Difficulty expert, jeez. I'm gonna kill myself out there. It's been on hard. 10% laps. Yeah, that's good. Short race weekend. Let's do long race weekend. Now, once we get to the track, I'm going to try to turn off all the assist. Don't let me forget, guys. Sorry for swearing. So once again, this is Formula One 2011 on the Xbox 360. There's no more online mode for this. So I'm going to have to do career mode. Let's see how we do. I'm going to try to turn off my assist. Enjoy, guys. Hey, welcome to the garage. Let me show you around. The car monitor provides you with important information about the race weekend. There's a lot of useful information here. Feel free to check it out later. 
When you're ready to go out onto the track, or want to know what your session objectives are, then you just need to ask. Finally, you could also edit your car setup here. If you want to make more complex changes, take a look at the car monitor. you to fine-tune your car's settings. Alternatively, you could leave it on the default settings if you're happy with how the car handles. On this screen, you can see a detailed overview of the current track. This screen provides you with live timing information and allows you to fast forward time within the current session. I'd take a set of intermediates in these unpredictable conditions. too much in the first few laps. The track's green and there'll be a lack of grip. taken some slight damage. Stay out unless it's causing you problems.
puncture on the front right. Pit for tyres. Pit, pit, pit. <laughs> Right tyre is showing a drop in pressure, looks like a puncture. Pit, pit, pit. The stewards have given us a 10 place grid penalty. We'll drop 10 places on the grid. Looks like we've been awarded a 10 place grid penalty. have set us back a little. Car's prepared, let's go. under our belt.
tires are your best bet in the current conditions. Okay, the track's green right now, so take a few laps to get the tires up to temperature and feel your way around. damage to the front wing. You should be okay to stay out. Standing by.
Okay, back to the pits, back to the pits. We've lost the front wing. Sector two is showing green, back to racing conditions. Keep an eye out for any debris. have set us back a little. Be aware, the track is pretty busy at the moment. All right, guys, that's enough practice. We're going to get out there. Let's see how we do. Hopefully, we get to victory lane, but I really doubt it. Thank you for watching.
ready. First race. Don't worry about your finishing position. Just get a feel for the car and concentrate on having a clean race. Good luck.
marbles. Expect refuse grip until you can wear them off. Stay on the racing line.
Wow, guys, I had a terrible race there. I cannot believe it. This is really hard. Uh, I've never played uh, the this game, any kind of F1 game on the uh, Gen 6 console, or whatever console we are on yet. So that was really crazy. We're going to continue on with what place we took, 23rd. Damn, that was terrible. I compare that kind of racing to like how bad Danny Patrick is. Look, they're like, you're in a Hendrick car, man, and you scrub it up out there in front of everybody. Get that damn camera out of here. I don't know what to do. I think I got beat up by the, those two guys right there. <laughs> that was fun though, man. That was pretty cool racing something like this. God, I, I'm running with no nothing on. And this, is, this is really hard. Oh, great. It's interview time. Well, let's see what old Dave has to say to you. Tell me, what are your hopes and aspirations for the current season? And do you have any personal objectives that you want to achieve? Hmm. Yes. Do you think your performance this weekend was a true reflection of what you and your car are capable of? I wonder what those questions do if they like uh, give you any kind of momentum or something. All right, that helmet was bad luck. Let's switch to something else. That looks good. Let's see what kind of emails we got. Oh, nobody. Press clippings. All right, let's see. God, we did really bad. Let's see what the next track we're going to. Wait, that ain't the next one. Race calendar. Malaysia. China. Turkey. Spain. Wow. What is that? Oh, okay. Um... I'm going to end it here. Thank you guys for watching part one. There's a guy getting an interview right outside. Whoa, check out that girl. Oh, she's looking at me. Hi. Oh, yeah, you and your friend could come in. Yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, guys, I'm going to end it here. I got a date. We'll see.